And anyway, uh, the, the god Horus, this is the last place where he has worshipped. This one is dedicated for Horus, the son of Isis and Osiris, as a, a state god of Edfu or Bahdut. Edfu was called uh, Bahdut, this is in the religious documents or in the ancient Egyptian uh, documents. And Bahdut means Edfu. Edfu was called in ancient Egyptian times uh, Edfu. And in the Coptic it came Edfu with T. And in the Arab they added the first letter E and it, uh, they converted T to D. So it became Edfu. There is a legend that says uh, about the struggle between the good and bad, between Horus and Set, his uncle. This means that the god Set and the god Osiris, the father of Horus, they were having two sisters, Nephthys and Isis. Osiris married from Isis and Set from Nephthys, but this doesn't uh, didn't satisfy Set, and he wanted to marry Isis. That's why some of hatred and core agency came, or uh, vengeance came in the heart of Set. So his vengeance came from uh, his brother by trick when he made a very great festival and invited a lot of people, the high officials and the two kings Set and Osiris. He made a coffin made of pure gold and said who gets the same measurement of this coffin he will take it as a present or as a gift. This exactly he started with his followers but no one available. When Osiris got inside the coffin they closed the coffin and threw it on the line. Isis starts to look for her husband and she could find him in Delta. She could save his life and after that she brought him out from the sarcophago or from the coffin and then they were getting back by the Nile from Delta to our Egypt. At the time Seth was fishing in the Nile and he found his brother. Then he killed his brother and cut his body for 42 pieces. He threw each one, each part of his body in a knot of the Egyptian nome is the 42. Isis and Nephthys start to look for these parts and collect them again until they reach the delta to find the head of Osiris. With the help of her magic, she could extract the sperm of Osiris and get pregnant with Horus. She brought Horus and brought him up in the delta secretly under the protection of the statues until he became older and could start the struggle for his uncle or against him and this is what happened at the end that Horus won the war and restored his throne. After that, after the death of uh, Horus, Horus, Osiris and Isis, Set and Nephthys, all of those gods had became, they were humans and kings, queens, royal princes, after that they converted to gods in the neither world or in the life after. Osiris was a state god, Set was the symbol of devil, Nephthys and Isis were uh, the symbols for uh, motherhood, kind motherhood and helping. Also, Horus has become the eternal king. Each king came to the throne of Egypt. He has taken a name called the Horus name. Horus name, this is the name which the king carry on the walls or during the walls. Okay. Here the temple of Edfu also has another legend. This is the solar winged disk legend. And anyway, the temple itself, this is, as I told you before, this is the most complete temple in all of Egypt nowadays. It covers an area for about 6,665 square meters. Here we can see this is the Biron. It's another copy. Each tower from the other is a mirror, if you notice. And also this one is similar to the one we have met in, in Fila. But there is a little difference, can you realize? Uh, let's see. Here, the king offers to two rows, not one row of guts. In Fila, this is just one row. But here, this is two rows of the guts, who are dedicated or treated as guests of the temple during the festival. This is a festival called the Beautiful Valley Festival, when the goddess Hathor leaves her house at Dandara to visit her husband, Horus, in Idfu. And here, the king, in a large shape, is meeting his enemies in front of Horus and Hathor, and from the other side, from Horus and Isis. Here, this is the gateway. This balloon is the second highest one also. It's high at 34 meters high after Karnak, which is 40 meters. Also, large vertical grooves have been cut in the walls and this is for holding the flag stuffs. 
while the four openings in each one those are for holding the flag poles and also to admit light and air to the interior of the towers in front of uh, the gate there is two falcon head stitches for the king for the king or for the god horse and the king is in a small shape between his legs yes and these are for protection in the higher center of the gate you can see the winged solar beam. This one is also for protection and it has connected to a legend says that when the Gadra returns back from Nubia, there is a, re a revolution broke out against him. So he asked Horus Itfu to defeat his enemies from him and Horus Itfu takes this shape and starts conquering those enemies. After that they returned back, especially Set and his followers in the shape and forms of hippopotamus and the crocodiles. Horus flies again and with the same shape and drove them to the western desert and there he could vanish them completely and conquer. And the last scene of this battle shows Horus as a king and he is met with the ore in the hebo mid or hebo point mid. And this is a representation for the god set. Or generally they represent that the good at the end wins. Uh -huh. This is about the first below. The walls that we have seen, this is the original walls, but this one is the modern, and those has been built by the government to continue the shape of the wall. But the original one, this is behind us or at the right of me. And here, those niches also have been done by the time. This is not uh, not from the first days or not from the Ptolemies. Also, here in the first days, there was a temple. We have found here some references about the architect Imhotep. He came here and we have found also some names from his priests. Also, the king Ramses II and the first emperor Tutmosis III, we have found some references and monuments for them. This is about the first part of the temple. Then we are going to first to the inner uh, courtyard or the first courtyard where we are going to see the coordination scenes or the scenes series of coordination. Let's go. Do I pause it or? Yeah. yeah.